Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Alishan Mo here. Today in this video we are going to take a look at the AMWay's newest FPV system designed for FPV racing quadcopters, not micro FPV racing quadcopters, but a good size like 180, 180 size, 220 size, 200 size FPV racing drones or FPV racing quadcopters. Not only that, you can also use this FPV system on uh, FPV planes or FPV racing planes. Well, yes, FPV drone racing is really really uh, getting hot but nobody's paying attention to FPV plane racing there should be something about the wings you know FPV wings they are super fast and super agile anyway so you can use this video system on your FPV planes as well uh, rather than just using it on micro or rather than just using it on FPV racing quad cups so apart from that I also have here with me that I'm gonna review in the same video is the Amway's Antenna 009 the brand new 13 dBi patch antenna from Aonway and also uh, the mushroom or clover leaf antennas from Aonway which are here in the same box. So let us take these things out and take a closer look at it and talk about their features. So this is the Aonway FPV system I was talking about. Let's take it outside the box first. Inside the box you just have one bag. All right, And inside the bag you have a camera and a video transmitter. All right, That's it. Now let's talk about the video transmitter first. As you can see that it has the flexible coax cable for your antenna. Your antenna will still connect here. Remember, this is not the antenna. This is just a flexible coax cable for easy mounting of the antenna anywhere on your quadcopter. If it is a mini quadcopter, we do need these kind of things to flexibly adjust somewhere to fix our antenna properly. So in terms of, uh, or in case of crashes, you won't break your antenna. The antennas that are soldered, uh, Antennas that are soldered directly onto the video transmitters, sometimes upon crashing you break the antenna uh, connectors right here and then this becomes, the whole video transmitter becomes useless for you. So this is a very very nice feature they have given us here that they have a coax, flexible coax cable and then you can fit your antenna somewhere. So if anything goes wrong, you have a crash, at least your antenna will break but your video transmitter will not be damaged. Now this video transmitter power is switchable between 25 milliwatt to 200 milliwatt and up to 600 milliwatt. Awesome. Now that is where I would actually install it on a plane and switch it to 600 milliwatt and fly up to one to two kilometers very, very easily. There are only two buttons that you will use to uh, configure your video transmitter and set all its features. Okay, it has LED indicators, uh, only LED indicators, no uh, digital LED uh, for power, band and channel status and of course you will use these push buttons to uh, uh, configure your parameters, various parameters of your video transmitter. They also said that the microphone is also available for a voice or audio recording but I'm not sure where we will connect the microphone, most probably we will have to solder it. Anyway, now the good thing about this video transmitter is that as soon as you turn it on, it will stay in pit mode. That means it will not transmit anything, so you will not be bothering any pilots around. Uh, of course, in the FPV, FPV racing events, this is one of the biggest problems that anytime somebody turns on uh, just to test its... Uh, just to test his video and channels and bands and other pilots are affected and if anybody is flying and the video interferes or they are on the same channel that guy is gonna crash now this is a very good feature that as soon as you turn the power on for this video transmitter as soon as you plug the power to your uh, quadcopter this transmitter will stay in pit mode and will not transmit anything unless you switch it to 25 milliwatt, 200 milliwatt or 600 milliwatt and then it will start transmitting the video. So you can just turn it on without any problems, without worrying about disturbing other pilots. You can set your bands and frequencies right and make sure that you're not on the same frequencies as other pilots and only then you will turn it on and you will not bother any pilots. So this is a very, very nice feature of this uh, system right here and I'm loving it. Now regarding the camera, this is the same camera, uh, Ionway 700 TV line WDR camera, okay, 3.5 
It's rated to um, maximum 5.5 volt and of course the video transmitter is providing 5 volts to the camera so don't worry about it. You can provide the uh, 6 to 28 volts to your video transmitter without worries and without having to worry about burning the camera. Alright, so this was the uh, video transmitter uh, from Aonway and WDR700 TV line camera. Now let's take a look at the uh, antennas they have provided us. This is the antenna 009. So outside the box, this is the uh, dual diamond directional antenna 5.8 GHz from Aonway. Okay. Flexible and adjustable cable back here for you to mount and point your directional antenna as I said again as it says It's a directional antenna So you will have to make sure it points towards the aircraft all the time Which is carrying the video transmitter the main features of this antenna. This is a 13 dBi high gain directional antenna vertically polarized for receiver side and suitable for long-range FPV long-range video reception so using this I'm gonna see how far we can go on an airplane then we have the uh, angle about this antenna it has a 40 degree vertical and 40 degree horizontal angles for the reception for the beam and of course it's a silver jacketed wire and 24k gold plated connector for performance so this is the Aonway directional antenna I also have received here the Aonway mushroom or clover leaf antennas okay this is how it looks like and they have also given us a cover for this antenna so just press it inside and you have yourself the Aonway mushroom or clover leaf antenna right here. All right, so I believe I can put these two antennas on my video goggles and one antenna on the video transmitter and then I can test and I can see how far I'm gonna go with this combination. So now for testing the range using the directional antenna, antenna 009 and video transmitter from Aonway set to 600 milliwatt. I'm gonna use my Easy Sky Drifter airplane. Depending on how good the video reception is, I can try to push the limits on this airplane uh, in an open desert area. And after that, we can conclude how good the system performed. After that, of course, to test the another video transmitter on FPV racing quadcopters, I'm gonna put one of the systems on this Ishin Wizard 220 right away and we'll take it out for a spin and see how well the Aonway video system is performing. I will be flying 600 milliwatt probably, but we'll give it a try on 25 milliwatt as well. So thank you very much for watching this lengthy video and thank you very much Aonway for releasing such awesome products, FPV products. Enjoy! And I have to be very very busy now setting all these things up. Every day these things keep me very very busy and a lot of work is pending so I have to move fast and I have to go out to test all these things. Enjoy flying! Enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the new upcoming uploads. Thank you for watching the video and thank you very much for your continued support towards my work on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the regular video uploads. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share the link over your social sites.